Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. A uh, quick update just before this video starts. Uh, so I made this video announcing that I'll do my climb to legend as you'll see as like uh, still like rank 3 or something and I only play a few hours a day. Well, it turns out we killed it. Yeah, legend done. So yeah, come by and watch the stream anyway. Uh, next month I'm going to try to go for standard legend. Um, but uh, yeah, keep that in mind when watching this video and it was quite an incredible ride with the most fitting finish but I'm recording this after the stream just as a quick update before the rest of the video because we always do these videos one day in advance so the really crazy legend ending video whatever thing that's gonna be tomorrow enjoy this one for now hey guys how's it going Kriparian here today I want to give you guys the message that I will be going for legend rank Finally! Last time I did it, I don't know, it was like Grand Tournament expansion or something. I was just playing like meme, new decks, whatever, and I ended up at like rank 3, and I'm like, well, I can probably go for it, and I did end up going for it back then. I have gotten Legend before, but you guys know, I typically just play Arena. I find it pretty, uh, pretty interesting to play Arena. I like Arena, but I've done well in Arena so many times, I think out of like the 10 leaderboards, I've been on like 7 of them, winning 2 of them, and I think out of the 3 that I didn't make it, on 2 occasions, I just didn't play 30 games, and at least one of those, I definitely would have made the leaderboard had I just played more. So I've done really well in Arena, and yeah, while it's good, um, I've just done a lot of it, and I think I'll still be playing Arena from time to time, but... This month, what I've done is I've played Wild Ladder. I've played just like a crazy combo druid deck that you guys have seen highlighted on the channel many times now. And I've actually had a lot of fun. I've loved my experience. Now, Wild is a little bit different than Standard. Uh, most people that play high rank and Wild just have a crap load of cards. So whenever there's like a new deck that's pretty good, a lot of people switch to that. Like, you know, a week and a half ago, I had almost no bad matchups playing my combo druid. Now there's actually a lot of bad matchups. There's a lot of people playing decks that I don't do very well against, and it seems like this switches pretty quickly. But I'm pretty sure I can make it happen. Um, I'm hoping to not switch my deck. I'm hoping to just make it happen on my own terms. Right now, I am close to rank 2. I'm like rank 3, 4 star, something like that. I think I made it to 5 star and lost the game last night. So... I think if you get there, you can make it. It's just, Wild is a little bit different than Standard. In Standard, people play relatively the same three or four decks, and the proportions change a little bit, but not a lot. If you have some success, if you can make it to rank 5 on Standard, I think you can probably make it to Legend. Wild, because things shift a lot, um, I think it can be trickier if the timing is bad, but I think I can make it happen. I've learned that I really like to play these combo decks, these control decks that really reward you for playing well, you know? The combo druid is a deck that I think, you know, I still make quite a lot of mistakes, but with absolute perfect play, it's almost unstoppable. It's just seeking that absolute perfect play with combo druid is so insanely difficult, and I love that. And I think in the next short while, I'd like to explore that a little bit more. Uh, I think uh, the next month I'll try my luck at Standard. Again, I'll try it on my own terms. I think I can make a few control and combo decks work out, and uh, we'll see what that's like. But for now, I just want to give you guys the message that I will be playing quite a bit of Wild for the rest of the month, and I'll be going for Legend, and if you guys want to see the experience and want to root for me as it happens, you guys are welcome to check out the stream, and uh, yeah, probably quite a few highlights to come in the next week of that experience. Now, I have teched the deck a little bit. Uh, the uh, highlight I want to give you guys today is a teched version, because I keep playing against uh, decks with lots of large minions, and I have a few counters to that. I think I've made my weak matchups a lot better, but I've made my strong matchups a bit worse as well, so it's a bit of a mix. It's definitely going to be uh, a fairly challenging experience, but I think I'm up for it, and we'll see how it turns out. For now, I'll leave you guys with the game, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. You can't leave a Naga on the board when they have like seven cards they're not playing in hand. Because they're going to have trash like Malganus, like all the rest. Just can't do that. No way. Oh look. Turn one Kobold Librarian. 
Not like that's happened the last, like, 60 times we've played against Warlock. Cobalt Librarian is a quest, so it always starts in the opening hand. Oh, that makes sense. What the fuck is that? Interesting. Alright. Not quite as good as mulch, but not terrible. Yes. Oh yes. They'll serve me now. It's like hailing thunderstorm and the sky is lighting up white right now. So don't don't blame Dex for barking a little bit, guys. He's gonna bark a little bit, all right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to burn cards in my hand here. I have no time for games. He needs blood, Reaver. I hope he doesn't get it. Nice top deck. Actually, a nice top deck would have been Aviana, because then I'd just kill him. But yeah, that was alright. Defile the board away. Yep. Seven cards left. Oh, 
that's pretty good. No avian is at the bottom. Damn. I need to clear my own board in order to use the combo. If he pushes for a really big board and Aviana is actually my last fucking card, could lose. I think I can die to like some cube shenanigans. Okay. Give me that star back. <laughs> 